Great football game. You ready for mm -hmm. the top five? Let's go. A and I top five plays. We're gonna go to your game first, Hags. West Lawrence Conway and the muff punt recovered by Malcolm Green. I think it looked to me like a good snap, but it gets got bobbled and then knocked around. No, it was a little bit low. Yeah, Alex Spence had some issues, and Malcolm Green able to scoop it up and take it to the house, but you know. You're going to break this play down, Hags, and I think the key is who's the first guy to get to Alex Spence to put on the pressure. It's 19 Jacob Moreland. You know, he's one of the smaller guys, but the, one of the leading tacklers in the zone nation. Accurate. That's correct. And Malcolm Green able to scoop it up and take care of the rest. Conway, tough loss to West Florence, but they got it done on special teams. That's why they're at number five. Now we go to number four, Keontae Foxworth. What a performance, Hags. Second man through the hole, breaks an arm tackle, and then runs that poor kid over. <laughs> breaks two tackles on the way to the zone. Look at him put on the brakes. You know, we got to put a mixtape of all four of the touchdowns. I mean, they were all awesome. But... And look at the offensive line fire off. Everybody hitting their blocks, perfect precision, and then he does the rest. Just breaks into that secondary. There's really nobody in the secondary. I think they were loading up against him, and it didn't work out. You know, he absorbs those two incidents of contact and still is able to blaze away. Four Mar touchdowns on the night for Keontae Foxworth. Wow, you just heard him in the zone studio earlier. Number three, oh, Sockesty with not one, but two onside kicks. Let's take a look at this first one, Hags. That's Eric Mortel. And it was just a regular onside kick, and Sockesty kind of caught uh, the Seahawks unaware. And then look at this. This I is this Zach one. Hyde. He noticed that Sockesty was cheating up. Myrtle up, was cheating up. Myrtle, yeah. sorry, Myrtle was cheating up, and he just blooped it right over him, and uh, they got the recovery. Oh, Watch this here. Motion. It's going to just find that little hole, and then, hey, first guy to the ball. Boom. Kind of like a Phil Mickelson shot to the green. Kind of cool. a little backspin on it. What a great job by Sockesty right there. Mm -hmm. Two onside kick recoveries. Hey, you know, and they, they hung around. They sure did. They sure did. Now we go to number two, and we're going to go to the forest. This guy has emerged, Hags. Aaron Williams, yards after the catch. Mm. You know, this right here is maybe a little three-yard play. Uh-uh, 41-yard -uh, touchdown, a little hurdle to boot. Everything was yards after the catch. There's a little spin move to get him free. Yeah. And then you... Look at that, hops. Is that what the what kids you, say, Major look, Hops? Look at how high he is in the air there. I'm going to nickname him Major Hops. There you go. Mm -hmm. Carolina Forest took care of business tonight against Lugolf Elgin. Wow. That's an eyebrow raiser. And now the number one play of the night comes from the Carver's Bay Bears. Holden Clark looking for six, but the Sean oh. Aiken has other things in mind. How far did that one go? Rich? 104 is what we got. Deshaun Aiken, junior quarterback, Mr. Everything, mm. does it at DB. Deshaun Aiken, the number one play, and he does it against the Green Sea Floyd's Trojans. Let's take a look at this again, and well, that's you want to talk about a momentum change. You're going in to score and, and make a huge play. Deshaun Aiken from Carver's Bay, the number one play of the night.